Here in Hong Kong, my Freedom Day feels a little bit different this year. Instead of being out of school, I'm in the studio where I've been talking to students via video chat. Uh, because of the coronavirus outbreak, schools are closed here for at least two months, but that has not diminished their activism. Freedom means to me um, being able to go out, um, being able to travel. I have a lot of family friends overseas who have experienced xenophobia, especially in uh, Italy. I had, a, uh, I had a family member travel there and there were a lot of um, xenophobic remarks. So I think freedom to me also means being able to be accepted anywhere. Um, I think a big freedom that's important to me is freedom of speech. Even though school's been closed, um, through these kind of online platforms, we've been able to continue these discussions and maintain that freedom. I think at this current time, I think we should be very grateful for our opportunity and freedom to continue learning. What you've learned about the problem of modern day slavery and how you're choosing to respond to it. Um, one big statistic that I actually saw recently in the news was one in 200 people is a slave. Um, and that surprised me because I thought that was something that only happened 200 years ago and I just thought like it was astounding. I think that in Hong Kong we have a form of modern day slavery in um, the abuse of um, migrant workers and helpers. Recently we've done a mask drive um, where we donate um, them sanitizing products and masks um, to support them throughout this coronavirus period, especially when they don't get the support they need. And Due to the coronavirus, um, a lot of migrant workers have been asked by their employers um, to stay at home during these 24 hours instead of going out. The lines between you know, um, getting their rest and you know, uh, get, uh, continuing to work becomes quite blurred. The world is already dealing with so many challenging issues from the coronavirus outbreak to the climate crisis. I mean, how optimistic are you that we could end modern day slavery? Um, to be perfectly honest, I, I do feel very optimistic about the situation. I think that our world now is much more aware of human rights. Education is kind of the first step forward that I think we'll be able to make. Obviously, would hope that we would be able to end it, but I think that the more realistic first step is educating youth and motivating them to try to make a change in their lifetime. Like our generation seems quite responsible, but also motivated to want to make a change. And that's why I would like to keep that hope and that optimism that this can um, be like have a difference.